Jesus said, whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. And whoever welcomes me welcomes not me, but the one who sent me. Welcome to Daily Devotions from Cram and Kirk on Friday the 9th of October. Let us pray. Lord of all eagerness, Lord of all faith, whose strong hands were skilled at the plain and the lathe, be there at our labours and give us, we pray, your strength in our hearts, Lord, at the noon of the day. Amen. Freshers Week, Edinburgh, 1972. My first time living away from home, sharing digs with three other students in a flat on London Road, and although I didn't know a soul, I remember it as one of the most exciting times in my life. How will this year's intake of university students look back on Freshers' Week, their first experience of university? Instead of the chance to find out about all the groups and clubs and activities of university life, many find themselves locked down in their halls unable to socialise beyond their own immediate bubble and threatened with fines and with even more drastic measures if they do so. Will they or will they not even get home for Christmas? My heart goes out to them. Some of our brightest, some of our very best young people and one of the most important times in their lives, moving away from home, beginning to make their way in the adult world. So much to do, so much to experience, so much for them to learn. Being told to move into student accommodation and somehow it's their fault, their fault, for not behaving properly, not following guidelines. Perhaps it's just me, but I see many more adults not behaving properly, not following or understanding the guidelines, even those who are making them and setting our laws. So this morning, a story about children and young people and Jesus's reaction when the disciples criticise their parents. And with it, the thought that in all the difficulties in all the challenges of the present time, what our young people need is our support, our encouragement, our help. If you'd like to follow the story, you'll find it in Mark's Gospel, at chapter 10 and from verse 13. People were bringing little children to Jesus in order that he might touch them. But when Jesus, uh, the disciples spoke sternly to them, but when Jesus saw this, he was indignant. He said to them, let the children come to me. Do not stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of God truly belongs. Truly, I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a child will never enter it. And he took the children up in his arms. He laid his hands on them and he blessed them. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Welcoming God as we join in these daily devotions, you welcome us with open arms. Whoever we are, wherever we are, we are part of your family, each one of us known and loved. Bring us together as a loving community for all. As this morning we pray for our children and young people, especially those who are attending university for the first time. Keep them safe. Keep them healthy. With all the difficulties and challenges of this present time, help them know they have our encouragement, our support. Bless all who teach and work in our schools, colleges and universities. As they grow in knowledge, Help us also grow in grace and understanding. In the name of the one who welcomed children, took them into his arms and blessed them, 
protect and guide our children and young people from anything which would harm them or restrict their journey in faith and life. Help us be for them and for all a source of support and encouragement. All our prayers we bring in the name of our Saviour Christ, who taught us to pray together. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever. Amen. And may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen.